Oil Platform P63 Since its foundation in 2005, Kipi SCA has been building offshore oil and gas production platforms with high percentage of local content, state-of-the-art technology, creating new jobs and contributing to Brazil's development. With headquarters in the city of Rio Grande, in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, Kipi formed a joint venture with BW Offshore to perform the EPC, Engineering Procurement and Construction Contract, to build the FPSO, Floating Production, Storage and Offloading Platform, P63. We were hired in January 2010 by PPTBV, which is a joint venture between Petrobras and Chevron, to build the FPSO P63 with a contractual schedule of 35 months. This made Kipi the first Brazilian offshore construction company to build an oil platform since the basic design stage through the first three years of operation, before final handover to Petrobras. The first three years of operation are divided into two stages. For the first 18 months, the platform will be operated by BW Offshore and Queiroz Galvão Olio e Gas, assisted by Petrobras. And for the next period of 18 months, it will be operated by Petrobras with the assistance of BW Offshore and Queiroz Galvão Olio e Gas. Kipi was responsible for the FPSO P63's process basic design that was carried out in record time of only four months through a partnership with AMEC Paragon in Houston, in the United States of America. Kipi was also responsible for engineering, procurement, construction, lifting, testing, and final integration of the top sides with the hull. The FPSO P63 commissioning was performed together by Kipi and BW Offshore. The platform is 334 meters long, 57 meters wide, and has a displacement of 322,912 tons. It will produce 140,000 barrels of oil a day and 1 million cubic meters of natural gas. The Costco shipyard in Dalian, China, converted the whole of the BW NISA and VLCC class oil tanker into the platform FPSO P63. The pipe rack and some modules were manufactured in China using equipment and materials supplied by Brazilian companies. The M31 module was built in Turkey. Costco used docks 3 and 7 to manufacture, build and assemble the modules and pipe rack. The 1,000-ton capacity floating crane Yuhang 28 and the 3,000-ton capacity floating crane Yuhang 2 were used to lift and assemble the modules on top of the whole deck and stools. The floating crane Yuhang 28 lifted the lay-down modules and the pipe rack. P63's hull was turned several times to facilitate modules lifting and placing on the vessel. After hull first turn, floating crane Yuhang 2 lifted M82, the heating cooling module. Then the vessel was turned again, allowing floating crane Yuhang 28 to lift Z98 pipe rack and the floating crane Yuhang 2 to lift the generation, electrical, and utilities modules. After the installation of the modules and the crane pedestals, P63 left the Costco shipyard and sailed to Kipi facilities in Rio Grande, in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. The P-63 voyage of 23,000 kilometers from Dalian to Rio Grande took 71 days, including an eight-day stopover in Singapore. Kipi built a special dock at the Rio Grande facilities with capacity to hold both the P-63 and another similar size platform for which we were responsible at the same time. The construction, assembly and lifting of the modules built in Brazil, followed by integration and commissioning, were done at these docks. The administrative, industrial and assembly areas are in Rio Grande. We built industrial sheds over the modules assembly area to ensure we could meet the production schedule regardless of weather conditions. 
Once again, Kifi created a competitive advantage in the naval offshore construction industry in Brazil by using the Mammut PTC-160DS crane with 4,000 ton capacity to install the modules. We also used two Mammut trailers with 700 ton capacity and a 500 ton Tarek CC-2500 crawler crane. With the P-63 securely moored, the PTC-160DS crane performed the complex operation of lifting and assembling the high and low pressure oil separator modules, M11 and M12, the electrostatic treatment module, M13, the sulfate removal module, M52, the water treatment and water injection module, M51, and the gas compression and treatment module, M60. Finally, the FTC-160DS crane lifted and installed the flare tower F30. The P-63 was then repositioned at the dock, changing position with P-58 in order to finalize integration, testing, and commissioning. An extension system was developed and installed to avoid P-63's lower riser balcony hitting the pier. P-63 has the first polymer plant installed on an oil platform in Brazil. The purpose of this plant on Module 83 is to produce a polymer solution to be injected into the water injection wells to increase viscosity and improve the efficiency of oil recovery from the wells. The three power generation modules with six engine-driven generators are also the first in Brazil with technology that allows them to use three kinds of fuel, fuel gas, processed crude oil, and diesel oil. They will meet the P63 and P61 oil platform's energy needs. During the peak construction period, FPSO P63 created 3,000 direct jobs and 3,500 indirect ones. Platform P63 will operate in the Papa Terra field in the Campos Basin, 110 kilometers from the coast and at a water depth of 1,200 meters. <laughs>